Hey, how's it going? Thanks for watching my video on drum variation in Ableton. This is just a cool way to use Ableton's built-in drum racks to add a little bit of life to your drum kits. Just a very subtle variation, but it's a cool trick and I hope that you like it and you use it in your projects. So what I've got going on here is just a basic house kick. Let's take a listen. Nothing special, but what we're listening for is that each kick is just a little bit different. They have their own personality. And that personality comes from different velocities, different lineups on the notes, and even just a little bit of uh, trigger-based variation in a couple of these samples. So that's cool. The goal here is that we're going to press one key on our keyboard and randomly trigger one of these four samples. And that's just going to bring a little bit of life to the drum kit. So once you have your samples lined up the way you want, you can uh, make each sample different or as similar or as different as you want. Um, you know, maybe you have one crazy kick in there. Maybe you have just, uh, you have seven different ones that you want to use, no problem. But once you have the sounds you want, you're going to want to go ahead and resample that. So you could do it this way, you could do you could do it however way you want. But let's just say you did it this way. Boom, then you can go ahead and cut these up, cut them out, consolidate them. I've already done that just to save a little bit of time. So let's go over here. Here's your final set of four kicks. I've named them the kick greenhouse and one through four. So then the next step would be to go ahead and um, find them here in your browser. There they are. So actually the first step what we're going to do is find the kit that you're going to use and then we're actually going to drop a drum rack into where your kick's going to be. C1. So there's your drum rack. And we're going to call it Kick's Greenhouse. Then what we're going to do is find those kicks. We're going to grab them all. And we're going to drop them into the nested drum rack. So now, when you press this, nothing's going to happen. Why not? Because this is receiving C1, but playing C3. And if we look at, this is from the I.O. menu, by the way. If it looks like that, open up your chain, open up your I.O., and open up the I.O. in this one, too. This is playing C3, but these guys are, nobody's listening for C3. So what we're going to do is have this play C1. You can pick any anything you want, but make sure they're listening for the same thing. So now, when I play this, it's going to play that first sample there. How do you get it to pick one of the four? We'll use a MIDI effect. We'll do 100% chance, four choices. And the way that this does that is it either adds one, adds two, adds three, adds four. So we're actually going to have to put it up one notch. C sharp one, D one. And there it is. So check this out. There's just a little bit of life there that can, you know, add just a little bit of life to your drum rack, add a little bit of flavor. So 
I think this is a cool trick. You can do this with however many kick samples you want. Say if you wanted nine different kicks, all you do is make nine little variations there. Have this nine choices, whatever you want. Maybe you want them a little bit sounding more different. Maybe you want them sounding more the same. Uh, it's your personal choice. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you in your projects. Thanks for watching.